Hello everyone, welcome back to the Catholic Homestead. I'm Ava and this is Grandma and today we're doing... We're doing, we're potting some uh, vegetables. We built a potting station here behind us um, where we're going to set up to, to make vegetables or to get our vegetables ready. And as you know, we're very mediocre gardeners. So, <laughs> um, this is all kind of new to us, isn't it? I've never done this before. I've never, I've never pre-planted uh, vegetables um, early. I think you're supposed to do it a lot earlier than right now. I think you're supposed to do it indoors in like say February to get the plants good and hardy and then when the ground is ready you put them out in the garden. I'm squinting because the sun is just a blazing here, isn't it Ava? Yeah. I got my glasses on my head but uh, it's, a, it's a hot, it's a hot one. We went right from spring to summer which is kind of the way um, Canada works here. So anyway, but you went to see the Mario movie, didn't you? Yeah, last Tuesday. Yeah, last Tuesday, and you recommend it? Yes, it was, very much. It, it was, was the best movie ever. It was the best movie ever. So some good, clean movie fun for the kids. If you want to take some kids to see a movie, um, they're giving Mario the thumbs up. And your mom made um, your mom made this shirt for you. Right, mm -hmm. to go see the movie. So can you see that on the thing? What are those things called? Ball bombs. Ball bombs, right? It's so, Bobby, to be specific. Though. Bobby, so little bombs. I'm not all that familiar, but she tells me he's the good little guy. Mm -hmm. And on the back here, turn around here. Let's see what it says here on the back. Can you get in? Get in can you get in there and read it? I'm going to read it to you. We do our jobs, and when we're done, there's always another Bob bomb Bob -bomb. Bob bomb there to take our place. All any of us can hope for is to make an impact, right? I thought uh, that was pretty good, right? Yeah. There's always another ba bomb. There's always another job. Yeah. There's always another, you know, wrench in the pudding or whatever huh? you want to call it, whatever those sayings are, right? Right? So Mario there has a nice lesson for us. And all we can do is keep up on the ba bombs and keep going and keep rolling over them, yeah. right? Okay, so here we are. We're in the back. Um, this back here is our add-on. It's our, it's our add-on. And we haven't gotten the siding or the exterior on this building up yet. So I've just made a temporary um, potting area to do this. This is one of the reasons why I didn't do it indoors. Because I'm not so fussy about hauling all this dirt around inside. But right where the camera is sitting is going to be... this Behind this camera, I'm looking at it as our back door, and we're going to build. This is where I'm going to build my outdoor kitchen so I can do all the canning, and I don't have to do it inside. Because as you know, when the canning happens in August, it's dang hot. And nobody wants to heat up their kitchen with boiling water. But anyway, so here we are. We have, um, we have a bunch of seeds. I had a little box. And if you remember, last year we just planted seeds, whatever we had, because we didn't know what we're doing. And I'm going to say we still don't know what we're doing. Um, we did get a little, we got lots of spinach and lettuce, which we really enjoyed eating, didn't we? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're just going to open our pack. Here, Ava, put your hand out here. And we're going to put a little bit of broccoli. Put one in each of the little pots. Can you do that? Yeah. So while Ava's putting one in each of the little pots, we didn't, we didn't even attempt to grow broccoli last year. So this is new for us. Um, we did um, we did do a lot of um, spinach and lettuce. Was our big was yeah. our big thing. We got big. a little bit of baby carrots too. Oh, we got a little bit of carrots too, right? Uh, mostly because the problem with our gardening last year was that we had too much going on. Like it's really hard to do some stuff when you're in the midst of construction and you're in the midst of overhauling things. And even this winter, we had an, another new addition to the homestead. My son came home. He was living out west, and he's come home, which we're really grateful for because now he can do all the hard work, the clean up, and there's a lot of building we want to do, and there's a lot of stuff we want to get done. So now we have my son here. We're going to call him Big Orange. Big Orange, yeah. Right, because we're I'm Big Red, she's Little Red, and Dougie wants to be Little Orange, so he can be Little Orange, and my son will refer to him as Big Orange. Don't forget about Medium Orange, or Medium Red. Medium Red, yeah, your mom. None of these people are happy about this name, are they? Yeah. <laughs> They're like, can you guys stop? They're like, stop. And my son's like, no, thank you. I don't want to be part of your YouTube channel. But I know we're going to get him in here occasionally. You'll see him because he's got lots of projects to do. Next week, I think we're going to make a watering station because we put this up. And this is only temporary. Like I said, there's going to be a deck here. 
I've kind of decorated it, put a little stuff up because, um, you know, even though it's temporary, you want it to look at. Oh, how many go in there? Did you go into here? Yeah. Okay, well, might as well keep going then. Might as well do all the broccoli. We'll have lots of broccoli. The thing that I found, okay, reflecting on last year, because I still did a lot of canning. Oh, here comes Big Red, Big Orange now. There he is. Is he on the camera yet? You can hear him coming. There he is, Big Orange. Can you see him on the camera? Drove by in the tractor, Big Orange tractor. making a ruckus over there. We're moving them in, putting stuff around today. So, what I found, the hardest thing about doing all this is when it, when it's one thing to go to the market and buy it and bring it home and then can it. But I could barely keep up to the canning of the peaches because we have like six peach trees on the property. All right, what should we move on to? Let's move on to some onions. They look like... Oh, not the... Not onions. Ava hates the onions. There you go. Put your hand out. Look at how dirty we are already. Put the, put the onions in here. I'll do some too. I might not do them. We'll just put a little, a couple in each. A couple in each? Yeah, because they're so tiny. Now remember guys, if you want expert gardening advice, you'll have to find a different channel. We don't know what we're doing. We're just doing it. Right, Ava? We're going to see what works and what doesn't work. And you're never too old to try, too young to try, whatever. Okay, so down here, here, pull that over, Ava. Looks like a giant mess. Can, can, here, can we get that? Can, here, put it up there. Sounds like some people are enjoying themselves in the background. I don't know if you can hear that. There goes Big Orange again. Okay, so this I tried to save from our garden. Maybe we could get some shoes. Where's the scissors go? Right here. This is our chives. I'm just going to cut that off. It was, in, it was growing in the garden, and I knew that they were perennial, and I've had them before in a garden. So I knew that I could just stick my shovel in, and that these chives are as hard, they're the hardiest thing in the world. Look at how messed up. I just stuck a shovel in and put them in here. In fact, maybe we'll clean it up. Put a little more dirt in there, make it nice. Oh, here. There's some roots that didn't happen. There we go. Okay. So anyway, so our chives survived, so we're just going to keep them in this pot. Maybe when they grow healthy, I'll, uh, when we get another garden, we're going to put a garden over there in the front, like we had before, a nice herb garden, but all these things take time. So, well, maybe we'll take a bunch out of there. But we're going to plant um, some of our herbs because we like that the herbs when we're canning. So we have a little bit of parsley. And we're just going to put them in these pots. Here, just a... We'll just put a little, a little bit of parsley there on the top and then just put that over. He's doing something he's not supposed to. Bernie's something. You missed it. She ran all the way across the beach. No, stop! Uh-oh. Trouble on the homestead. <laughs> so anyway, here, back to our work. Can't be distracted. So we're gonna have a little cilantro over here. So we'll just put a little bit in this pot and we'll put some over top. I got the, the weather while well, it's really hot today, so uh, there's no risk of frost or anything hurting these plants. They're gonna stay out from now on. If there is a little bit of risk of anything, I'll bring them inside. What was the other thing we had here? Um Parsley, cilantro, for the nasal. Uh, dill, with dill. Oh, here comes the big orange again. Back again. Is he in the camera, Ava? I can't tell. No, he's not.
filming people without their consent. <laughs> there we go, we're getting, we're cleaning up this yard. So here we are, back down here. So I've got Dylan here. Now we're just going to label this stuff. We're done. This was Dill over here. Although, I don't necessarily think we need to um, do that because when it comes up, we'll see. Parsley. Great for making the salsas, cilantro, right? This year we had broccoli and onions, right? Do you put um, cilantro and mayo, or is that a completely the different cilantro sauce? Cilantro and what? Mayo. Mayonnaise? Yeah. Well, I would say that sounds like something that you have with those uh, tacos. Yeah, cilantro. Yeah. I've heard it before. I just don't. Isn't it like a sauce on its own or something? Cilantro? Isn't such, yeah, isn't there such thing as cilantro sauce? Cilantro lime sauce? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Oh, that's where I'm thinking of. Tostitos, rancho lime chips. Oh, right. That sounds good. Okay, well, we're going to have our own cilantro so we can make, we can mix it with our mayonnaise. Maybe yeah. one day we'll make a thing on making mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Um, we had lots of food that I can't, even though we didn't have much of a garden. And we've been going through it like crazy. There's a lot of stuff I won't can again because it's like, well, you don't use that much of it. And there's a lot of stuff we want to can more of. We want to do a lot of more tomato products. All good. The, uh, like we want to do stuff like we go through an awful lot of ketchup. So I want to make sure we make our own ketchup. We go through a lot of ketchup. We go through a ketchup. lot of ketchup. Big orange there. He likes it on everything. Ew. <laughs> Uh-oh. You got them on tape? Big orange and medium red. Yeah, <laughs> working together. Wow, you see what you can do with a tractor. Yeah. Next, we're digging a pool. Yeah, we, yeah, we, uh, we do want to put a pool in. We want to dig our own pool. We're going to DIY it a little bit. For a lot of reasons, we want to put our own pool in because uh, the little kids love to swim and it's really hard go places to find a place to swim where people are modest yeah. you know and so we think we're going to make our own stuff our own entertainment so that's what we're doing say goodbye to big red the big orange all this red orange i can't goodbye bye big orange goodbye big orange oh so the birds don't eat seeds well i don't know we just, I don't, it's like a little greenhouse right we, we got to water it every day. Yesterday. Did you go to a greenhouse yesterday? Yeah, prices were expensive. Prices were expensive, right? So we could go, we could buy all these plants already made, uh, but it'll be expensive. We'll make our garden expensive. This is very inexpensive to do it this way. And especially when you save all your seeds like this. This, I think, is mint because we had, um, I'm pretty sure it's mint. So we'll have to wait and see, because uh, I had a pot of it set aside from when we dug the garden up. We had the mint, we had this, we had um, the uh, chives. We even had our pumpkin. And we even had our pumpkin. I we, thought it was going to be a watermelon. No, but we did. We, we had a pumpkin and we uh, put it out, didn't we? Yeah, we should we do watermelons it. next. Okay, yeah. We do have seed tree watermelons, but they have to go directly into the ground, so we'll have to wait for that. All right, guys. This is Big Red and Little Red signing off. Signing off, and we'll we'll say goodbye to the oranges over there and yeah. the medium red over there. Everybody's on the farm working. My mother, she's in in the house, and my uncle, he's in the house. Senior lying. Red. <laughs> there's there's the seniors. The seniors are resting. What well, you, after you've lived your life, you deserve a good rest. Okay, everybody, God bless, and hope you have a beautiful day and. Uh, do, just do something. Go out and do something. We don't care what it is. Yeah, do something. Do Every day, something. do something and say, well, I accomplished this. I lived in the real world and I did this today. Yep. Right? Stop, stop with the virtual. Okay, guys. Goodbye. Next week. See yeah. you next week. See you next week.
Thank you.